there's absolutely a million ways to cook a steak. So many methods out there, so many gimmicks. Uh, should be on charcoal, sous vide, slide and sear, indirect, in the oven. This is my way. It's a backyard. It, it, it's a backyard way. It's a cheat way. It's a backyard way. And I don't care how much steaks you've made or how much you find a fault with this video. It works for me. And there's not a steak I've paid for all my life that tastes better like this. I use avocado oil, meat tenderizer. Uh, this meat tenderizer I got from a South African shop in Perth. Uh, I used to get meat tenderizer in Coles and Woolworths. Not anymore. I don't know why they stopped making it. I only uh, season my grates or oil them with rice bran oil. Now this meat tenderizer has got papain in it and that's the enzymes that tenderizes the meat. Uh, of course if you have allergies there you go milk, egg, soy uh, but what is funny about this is it's vegan friendly so look at that it must be good for you. I found this little gem on uh, the internet a jacquard tool I think I've got this for nearly 18 years now. Uh, this is very old. It's got 16 blades. Uh, I don't overuse it. Um, you will see these steaks are normal supermarket steaks that I bought. Um, nothing special, nothing high grade. Uh, I do uh, pierce with those little knives uh, on both sides. Uh, sort of the width uh, of the plastic so I don't overdo it. And then that meat tenderizer goes on afterwards I do not salt I use pepper I use garlic butter this this stuff is salty or oh, it's got a salty taste uh, I do put enough on uh, on both sides I use the back of a teaspoon uh, just to rub it in a little bit uh, I suppose you can do it with your hand but I do it with a teaspoon uh, as I said both sides season well and that caution again after this, do not let the meat sit longer than 25 minutes with this on it. That's the maximum. I found that 25 minutes is enough. Uh, the meat is super tender, so nice, so tasty. Um, the next step uh, after this is, uh, might also be bizarre. Some people might say, why do you do this? This is the way I do it. And I made steaks for so many friends and if they know what I've done and the way I do it because they think I'm this genius when it comes to steaks and it's this simple there's nothing to it I do look that the steaks is nicely coated uh, with with that avocado oil I then also put avocado oil on the other side use the teaspoon again just to spread that oil a little bit better and then I let it sit for 25 minutes. Now it's winter, so it can sit at room temperature. I don't use a charcoal grill. I don't use indirect smoking or uh, fancy stuff. It is a Weber Q. The heat setting is just over half on both burners on the family Q. There you can see the temperature. So the grates must be a little bit hotter than that temperature. There you can hear that sizzle and I do pat the steaks down with the tongs just for that firm contact on the grates because it's a cue I cook with the lid closed you will see that I use the left side of the barbecue first method in that madness because the white grates are still very hot uh, I do the same when I flip it again. Now I cook this steak in total for 8 minutes. 2 minutes per flip, 4 minutes per side. Um, nothing special. I cook blind, no thermometer. Uh, not checking every time to a certain doneness. And this came out perfect. Uh, just, just above medium rare. That's how I like it. It was perfect. And that was the tricky part to remember what direction the meat were to get that crisscross or that diamond shape on it so i flip it four times um, that was garlic butter on the lid and before the last two minutes 
if I do put the garlic butter on, um, very nice, I like it. Like I said, no gimmick, just simple stuff. Uh, I paid top dollars. Don't know if I said that for steak. That doesn't come close to the steak. Um, and just before I take them off, I add black pepper only to one side. Extremely simple. Four minutes aside, two minutes a flip. Garlic butter the last two minutes. I only rest it for three minutes, no longer, because I don't like cold food. It is winter, and in summer as well, it's dangerous to let it stand for too long outside. Then the steak was so tender. Now, for the life of me, I don't know why I videoed this in slow motion, so I had to speed it up, uh, not for it to take too long. But as always, the cheat, very simple. Look at that. <laughs> you, you, you can't get better than that in your backyard. And to be honest, there's not many places in the area I live that can make a steak like this this quickly. And who knows? Who knows what they do? Uh, so my method, very simple. Stand for 25 minutes with that meat tenderizer on. Um, and that's it. Uh, put the oil on. Grill it for 8 minutes. No fancy stuff. And it will be one of the best steaks you've eaten in a long time. Uh, I can guarantee that I've seen so many and I've done so much with steak. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you once again. Happy steaks.